Hello and welcome to another new to Mac episode of Apple a Day. Today I'm going to show you how to quickly enable the zoom screen feature on your Mac. This is one of the many accessibility features built into the Mac OS. I use this feature so much throughout the day, it's become second nature and I can't live without it. If you're not sure what I mean by zoom screen, here's a quick demonstration. You can see that the text is pretty small in this browser window and also in this notes window. I'm going to hold my control key down and swipe up on the trackpad with two fingers. Instant zoom. The screen blows up. The text is still legible and easy to read. I'll just swipe back down to go back to normal size. Note that this also works with a magic mouse. Just swipe two fingers up and down on your mouse while holding the control key. This is a very, very simple but useful feature, especially if you have your monitor set to a higher resolution where sometimes some of the text can be pretty small. So let me show you how to activate this feature. Under the Apple menu on the top left, select System Settings. Then select Accessibility from the category list on the left. And in the Accessibility panel, click on Zoom. And then all you have to do is turn on this feature. Use Scroll Gesture with Modifier Keys to Zoom. Then all you have to do is choose the Modifier Key to activate the Scroll Gesture. I'm pretty sure that the default setting for this is the control key, which is what I like to use. I'm going to try it now just to make sure it works, and it works as it should. I'm going to show you a few of the options available under this zoom style drop down menu. I'm going to change it to split screen. This splits the screen into two sections and puts the zoomed portion on the top, as you can see here. I'm not a huge fan of this style as I find it really disorienting. I'm going to change it to picture in picture to see what that does. As you can see, it kind of works like a magnifying glass. Now, you do have control over the size of it. Just click on the size and location button, and it brings up this magnification editor where you can drag the edges around to increase or decrease the size of the magnified window. I'm going to make it a lot wider and a little bit taller and press OK and try it now, and you can see how it works. Now, this is kind of cool, but I still prefer the full screen zoom, so I'm going to switch mine back to that. The only other option I want to show you is in the Advanced panel. I'll click on the Advanced button, and in the top section where it says Zoomed Image Moves, it's currently set to When Pointer Reaches Edge. So what that means is the zoomed image will move once I hit the edge of the visible area. I'll test this now. Let me zoom in. And when I move the mouse cursor all the way to the right or to the left, you can see that the zoomed area moves. It also does the same thing if you move to the top or the bottom. I'm going to change it to continuously with pointer. I'll zoom in. So now whenever I move the cursor, the zoomed window moves instead of the cursor. That one I don't mind so much. This third option to keep the pointer centered is very similar to the one I just showed you. This is my least favorite though, because uh, watch what happens. I'm going to zoom in, and as soon as I move the cursor, it jumps to the center of the screen, where it tries to remain there while you move around. I'm not really a fan of this feature. I much prefer the default setting when pointer reaches edge, so I'll change it back. There are a bunch of other advanced settings that I'm not going to bother going into. Um, I'm just going to keep this pretty simple. So I'll just close the advanced setting panel by clicking OK and then close the system settings window. Okay, so that's it for today. You now know how to quickly and easily zoom into your screen to read that small text. I'm John Martins. Please like and subscribe. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode of Apple A Day.